All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, and we are looking at Radical really quick. It's up 13% on the day, but you can see with this thing, it has massive wicks all over the place. If you just go anywhere and look. So, it's just, I guess, one of those coins that just spike up out of nowhere. It looks like it happens all the time, and then it sells off. So, what to look for with Rad here? The price you can see is above the 382 over here where I have this purple line drawn. I drew the purple line so you can clearly see that there's resistance up here. Same thing to the bottom. Clear support along this purple line here at the bottom of the Fib at $1.55. So from where you are now, if you come down the 786 for about a 14% move to $1.98, that would be your first support. If you lose that, then the bottom of the Fib here at $1.55 for a 32% move down. So I would say one of those two holds. Uh, you can see it's clear support, as we said. And for a move up on Radical here, you can see that it is above the 382 here at 219. So as long as you close above that, then you're still good for a move up. So the 0.5 at your next resistance for about a 6% move to 246. And then the 618 to the upside for about a 17.5% move here to 273. So yeah, without talking too much on it, it's it's up on the day. Uh, the stock RSI is curled up at the moment. The Haikanashi candles, I believe, are printing green. So it has a little bit of gas left in the tank, I would say. Let's actually look at the gauge over here, see if it's a buy or a sell. Get this pulled up really quick. Yeah, it's a buy. It's up 36, almost 37% on the month, almost 29% on the week, so yeah rad's looking good at the moment but like i said this thing has wicks all over the place so i'd kind of watch that it seems to spike up and then sell off really fast so yeah uh, not financial advice thanks for watching everyone and peace out